If you've ever caught one of my recording live streams, then you'll have noticed that I'm always using the same template, which allows me to write and record on the spot really easily. We're gonna have a look at that in this video. If you don't feel like building your own template, you can download mine, link is in the description. You'll get two versions of the template, one that only has Cubase 14 stock plugins in it, and one that I always use that also has some third-party plugins. All right, a quick overview. On these tracks, you import the music, a beat or loops. The next ones are all set for vocal recording a lot of backing vocal tracks in case you like layering like i do and here you have two ad-lib tracks one high-pitched and one low-pitched and the last track is especially fun if you're live streaming so you can trigger a bunch of effects like a or a and a notepad in case you want to write down lyrics if you download my template it's going to be a regular cubase project so as soon as you open it go ahead and save it as a template you can choose a template category so let's go for recording give it a name um alice's recording template i don't know click ok and now every time you want to use a template you can start fresh from the cubase hub okay so how does it work first of all i'd recommend setting up a key command for recording i use the equal sign and if you're not using direct monitoring, so if you're listening to yourself through Cubase, I'd also go into Settings, VST, and then for Auto Monitoring, choose While Record Running. And of course, you're going to want your mic input on all recording tracks. Quick tip, you can change them all at once if you go click, shift click, then hold shift option or alt, which engages Q-Link and then go and change your input. I'm just gonna go no bus just to show you. And now you can see they all changed to that. So if I go click again, shift, shift, alt, choose my mic, and now they're all back to mic. If you're not getting any sound or something's off, check out this video. So let's look at the template in a little bit more detail. Here you can upload a beat or maybe you just have a loop to write to. Those go here. Also make sure you adjust your tempo over here. Then the scratch vocal. When I write a song, I always just kind of mumble melodies. Sometimes words come out, sometimes they don't. But on this track, I record the mumbles. So if I do sing a melody that I don't want to forget, it's right there. And then I have a couple of lead vocal tracks. By the way, I'm in the stock plugin template now and every vocal track has pitch correct on it. If that's something you use, I use auto tune but this works as well by the way every plugin in here has a setting that you can start with but of course you're going to go in and adjust it according to your own voice specifically for the pitch correction you can go in and do the q link thing again so select all tracks with pitch correction i'm just going to go for these three right now then again hold shift and option or alt open one instance of the plugin change the key let go and now all of them have changed to that key the rest of the plugins is always on the respective group tracks just so you don't have a gazillion plugins on every track you can add any plugins you like of course Cubase also has their own vocal chain plugin that you might prefer, so you can just go in and add that one. And the group track also has the sense to this reverb and delay. Next, we have the background vocals. To some people, that's a lot of tracks. For me, that's barely enough. I do a lot of harmonies, and for every harmony I do, I do four takes. So two on the left and two on the right. If you're not familiar with that kind of recording and you want to see it in action, you can re-watch some of my live streams if you're a channel member or you can watch the shorter edits of some of the streams as well. Now let's get back to that monitor button. I monitor through my Apollo interface so you won't see me using this button on stream. But if you monitor through Cubase, which means you listen to yourself, to your mic input using this monitor button, then you'll need it to be active on the track you're recording while you're recording and only then and there because during playback any track that has monitoring activated it's not going to play back any audio that's on it let's say you're in this situation yeah, 
If you want to be quick, you don't want to be clicking the monitor button every time you're changing tracks. So that's why we changed that setting before for the monitor button. And to change tracks, you can just use your up and down arrows on your keyboard. I also changed a setting for that, which you actually shouldn't have to change. But if the arrows don't work like they should, go to settings, editing, and select use up down navigation commands for selecting tracks only. Click OK. And these also have their group track with the inserts and the sends. Then the ad libs, the first one. Hi, best ad libs. And the second one. Best ad -libs. I like to pan these, so panning automation is ready to go. And the very last track, the effects track. As I said before, this one's fun if you're live streaming. It's actually a drum track, so you can easily load effects in here just to spice things up a bit. Just have a little MIDI keyboard connected and make sure that you manually activate this monitor button and leave it on so that the effects keep working even if you're on different tracks. If you don't have a nice folder full of effects yet, I made one for you. Over 80 sound effects, free download, link in the description. So that's my template. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and... Press on recording. recording.